Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Spectrum Talk. I'm Ruby Jones, and I'm here today with Martha Redbone, a vocalist, songwriter, composer, and educator who will be performing in Denver this September. Martha, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Ruby, for having me. Thanks of course, so of course. I'm so glad you're here. Now, you'll actually be here in Denver on Wednesday, September 25th. <laughs> at the Robert and Judy Newman Center for the Performing Arts at the University of Denver campus. And you'll be performing a special musical work titled Bone Hill. So for starters, I would love to know the story behind Bone Hill and your inspiration for the concert. Thanks so much. Yes, um, Bone Hill is a, a theatrical concert. It's really songs with storytelling. And it will be my band, there are six of us and I'm kind of the central storyteller and my musicians are like the townspeople in a way. Um, and and I kind of talk about our, the story of erasure with American history and um, and how much erasure has impacted the uh, family trees of African American people and indigenous people and those connections yeah. based on paper you know, genocide on paper is very real. Mm -hmm. And, um, and in my research, I saw that within my own family tree, this, this was something that has happened. I know there are many other um, friends and, and people who I've had conversations with, who have all, um, if you're from the originate from the southeast, you know, which was the hub of transatlantic slavery, your roots are in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, Texas, that is where the hub of where we were brought, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina. Um, and that, you know, that removal from the American Indian removal period, you know, not everyone was just completely removed. There are many different complexities in the stories that have happened. And, um, you know, and intermarriages and the erasure on paper for intermarrying, the Jim Crow, the one drop rule, um, all of these different things. And through that, through these people's, you know, the culture survives, you know, right. um, and that, those are the things that, um, that I address in Bone Hill and song. It's, it's really like a, um, almost like the elephant in the room, the big untold story of American history that is not taught in schools. You know, right. not in the history books, but this is something that you will hear within everybody's family, no matter where you're from. If you're um, a black person, if you're a white person, if you're an indigenous person, you always hear, you know, there is no such thing as 100% purity in this country. It doesn't exist. And so, um, you know, as a, as a composer and songwriter, I kind of... Um, use my platform to speak truth and to share stories that, you know, I hope that will, will resonate with audiences. And, and it's not really necessarily about me per se. It's what I really want to do is open up conversations so that when people leave the audiences, you know, leave the space, they have conversations within their own families of how do we keep our culture? How is our culture kept alive? And the, the interesting thing, like they say, out of the mouths of babes, you know, my, my own kid said, um, I really think that it's race doesn't really exist. It's a social construct. It's really about culture. Mm, yeah. You know? And what's, and the way the, the, the easiest form of culture is what's on your table, what's on the dinner table at holiday times. What's on the dinner table, you know, when you have, you know, uh, birthdays and and funerals and 
you know, celebrations of, you know, milestones within families, like what's on the dinner table. And then you'll hear those conversations where auntie so-and-so says that they make this recipe exactly like this. No, cause they said they put this in it. No, because mama so-and-so said this. And then you'll hear these conversations of who put mustard in something and who put onions in something, yeah. but you know what I mean? And those are the, the things that keep that connection to culture. But I believe that we can't, you know, American culture can't just stop at food on the table. There's more right. things, there's prayers, you know, there's songs, there's prayers, there's ceremonies, there's styles of clothing and colors that represent family trees, you know, all kinds of things come into play that I guess slowly, if we're, if we're not able to capture those and keep those to share with our future generations, they do get lost when people pass on. And so Bone Hill is kind of like a, um, I guess, um, an honoring or a, um, a celebration and honoring of, of who I am and where I come from. You know, I, you know, I use Redbone as my stage name. That's my name I, I, because that's the name that my, my dad called me as a nickname. Okay. I'm, 